Wake Turbulence Wake Turbulence is caused by the tip vortices left by an aircraft or helicopter when it is generating lift. Tip vortices can be very intense and energetic. If you encounter a strong one, the aircraft may roll rapidly at rates which easily exceed the capabilities of the cyclic control. The factors that determine vortex strengths are those that affect lift. Aircraft gross weight, wingspan or blade span, flap configuration on fixed wing aircraft and attitude. Wake turbulence will be at its worst behind heavy aircraft flying at high alpha, in other words landing or taking off, or in the case of a helicopter while carrying a heavy underslung load. Some of the risk phases of flight include hovertaxing to cross the active runway behind an aircraft or helicopter that has just taken off, or crossing at height behind an aircraft or helicopter on finals. On a fixed wing aircraft, tip vortices form as the aircraft rotates and end as the nose wheel is lowered on landing. There is some evidence that the increased downwash from helicopter rotors produces even stronger wake turbulence compared with fixed wing aircraft of similar weight. These turbulent airflows behind and below aircraft and helicopters have proved fatal to pilots of light aircraft. Strong winds and crosswinds will dissipate or move the vortices. The worst wake turbulence hazard generated by fixed wing aircraft occurs with a light 5 knot crosswind flowing across the runway. As the upwind vortex will become aligned with the runway and so the approach path for following aircraft. The ICAO separation limits for takeoff and approach reflect these factors. A light aircraft or helicopter behind a heavy aircraft on approach requires 6 nautical miles clearance. Behind another light aircraft or helicopter, the required clearance is 3 nautical miles. Mm -hmm.